Welcome back. You're watching Meet the Ministers. My guest on the program this evening is the member from Richardor, Fiona Simpson. We haven't spoken a lot about politics. Getting back to, to your musical career, actually took a bit of time out and spent a little bit of time in the recording studio and released your own album. A an interesting process for a young lady pulling all that together? You write oh. the songs, do the arrangements, all that? I wrote some of the songs. Yeah. And, uh, yes, it's a great learning experience. I probably do it a bit differently now, but uh, it's certainly worth taking the creative process and learning how to, to put it together and uh, writing the music and then seeing that translated into the full orchestration. Mm. It's, it's a great experience. Now, I mean, you're a gospel singer. That's the way you describe the genre that you sing? Well, that's, that's the album, though yeah. I probably do a, a wider range of music than I do in, in than the traditional gospel scene. That's what I recorded at, at the time. That's what, that's what the album was? Yeah, that's yeah. what the album was, and I, it was called Destiny. Yeah. And I, I, I love talking to young people about destiny and talking to them about their potential and about their dreams and seeing those dreams come into fruition, and that's really what the album was focused on. Still have a copy of Destiny in the in the glove box of the car. You throw it on every now and then. Well, it's a tape, so <laughs> it's uh, it's back in the days before the CDs were that uh, prevalent. So it's not it's, that long ago. Oh, it is. It, <laughs> it seems like a long time ago. And yeah, I I love the fact I got to do it. I I do it a little differently, but I think music's an evolving thing. And uh, these days, I I do a lot of community-based singing, probably a lot of musicals. That's in the genre that suits my voice, and I, I enjoy getting out there and doing that sort of work. Once again, Sunshine Coast politicians. Bob Abbott's a well-known Sunshine Coast musician. I've actually been on stage with Bob myself a few yes, times. Yes, he, he is a very good muso. He's yeah. a character too. Yeah, and, a, and a very big, bold voice. Oh, I, I think you, you pay attention to Bob. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, right, I've, I've done uh, some fun concerts, you know, the ABBA medleys and things in full costume and the full lycra and all that. I didn't show you those photos because... <laughs> well, Fiona, we didn't get those photos. <laughs> well, you know, I probably hide those photos, but it was fun. We had a had a hoot in, yeah. in uh, doing those sort of things. So There's an election coming up. Why, what was it about the National Party? Why, why did you choose the National Party? Why choose the, the conservative side of politics? So the, it's a fairly conservative and yet kind of socialist kind of area that, that, that Sunshine Coast. There's a lot of different aspects of community all living in that one section. Well, I, I was a member of the Nationals and that we're now LNP, Liberal National Party yep. LNP, so the Conservative merger, I was very much a part of that merger and, sure. and helping to facilitate it played, played quite a strong part in that. I was the Deputy Leader of the National, the Deputy Opposition Leader mm -hmm. at the time. Uh, I, I believe that there's a lot that uh, conservative politics can deliver in Queensland, but that doesn't mean not being able to change. It's about how you bring change that serves people. Mm. And uh, I believe in small business and the entrepreneurs being able to create the jobs in our community. I believe about the need for uh, social safety nets. It's about uh, responsible, responsible capitalism that doesn't ignore its responsibility to the most vulnerable. Mm. So I don't subscribe to the view of laissez-faire, anything goes, government has no role. I believe that government should be there to protect the public good and public safety, uh, to help look after the public, but not to have government in the pockets of people, not to be a nanny state. So, uh, yes, you want to see people able to live their destiny, their full potential, without government uh, directing their lives, but truly being a servant of the people. So, uh, I suppose a different take on uh, the other end of the spectrum, if you yeah. say socialism is about government doing everything, yep. Uh, I think the balance is about uh, government being there as a servant uh, to look after what individuals can't look after, but uh, to certainly see people being able to meet their potential without the hands of government in their pockets all mm, the time. Mm. And, and, and a remarkable time for conservative politics in Queensland with that Liberal National merger. You were right in, right in the middle of it. An yes. interesting time. Oh, a, very interesting a lot of time. hard work and a, and a lot of ground to make up. Absolutely. Very proud of Absolutely. It, and uh, look, uh, you know, parties and, and politics, it should be about serving people. Mm. I, I hope that never sounds corny because at the end of the day, you've got to stay, say, what's it really about? Yeah. And I suppose that's what got me involved in the first place a belief that you can make a difference. Yeah. There's a lot of cynicism about politics, and I understand that to an extent. You never change anything sitting in an armchair. You don't change things being a cynic that doesn't put your hands to the wheel or get out there and do something mm. about it. Now, it doesn't mean everyone runs for politics. Others will be involved in community. They might be involved in some form of community uh, action to mm. see change. But 
we are our community. Our community reflects what individuals do. And I hope that people always feel that they can get in there and do something, uh, be it through direct action in politics or through community action and in making our world a better place. Aside politics, it's busy life. How do you find time for Fiona Simpson outside of public life? I need to make more time for singing. I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. I uh, think we all need to do that. Oh, uh, look, it's, uh, I, I do love singing. But uh, the things, I'm fortunate where I live up on the coast. I travel around the state with yep. work and my shadow portfolios a, a lot. But I live on the coast, so I do get down the beach as much as I can early morning. I'm an early morning person down yeah. the beach. Yeah, it, yeah. it adds some sweetness to your life. Hey, Fiona, while you're walking down the beach. Oh, yeah, then you, yeah. hey, hey, g'day back. And <laughs> it, it's great, actually, because when you're down there, people sort of respect a bit of personal space with each other. Yeah. But it is that sense of community out there on the beach as well. And uh, you see your surf life-saving community down there as well and all the nippers early in the morning, all the parents down looking after the kids. And uh, it's this whole community that happens, particularly before 7 in the morning. There's, there's a, it's amazing who's down there on the beach. Yeah, yeah. We're pretty much out of time. Do you do you have a, a, a limit, a timeline, a point at which you'll you'll look at moving on from politics? So you're in it for the long haul. How does that work in your mind? Oh, look, I, I have been in opposition, and yeah. uh, these years have been about really connecting with people, looking at how you want to bring the change uh, that Queensland needs. So I've got the experience that I am looking forward to putting into practice as a minister, hopefully. Yeah. And uh, my, my aim is to really serve as a minister in this state and to bring about the changes. And, you know, you've got to work with the community, but there's some big changes this state needs, and that's mm. what I'm really passionate about. Somewhere that you'd like to be in, say, 20 years' time? <laughs> 20 years' time. I, I know it's a long time away, but... I'll have another album by then, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Still writing songs, putting them away? Uh, yes, I am, actually. Yes, there's a, there's a few songs I'm, I'm tucking away, so... Uh, but. I, I, I love working and with people encouraging uh, people in leadership because yeah. our time in this role or other community roles, there'll always come a point when you do move on. But I think it's really about multiplying leadership and what we put back into others and uh, encouraging people to have a servant leadership approach. Because if it's about yourself, that's not leadership. So servant leadership, that's about serving people. And as I said, I hope that never sounds corny. We should always be about you know, taking those skills that you develop, the experiences, and then putting them into another generation and handing the baton by multiplication rather than just by uh, getting there and doing your job for a season. Fiona Simpson, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. You've been watching Meet the Ministers. I'll join you again next week.